What if I told you that within your lifetime, we might find the first evidence of alien life? Right now, NASA is building something unprecedented, a telescope specifically designed to hunt for life in the universe. This is a machine so precise that it can detect movements smaller than the width of an atom. A telescope so powerful it can spot a firefly next to a spotlight from a thousand miles away. And in this video, you're going to find out how this revolutionary observatory could finally answer humanity's oldest question. Are we alone in the universe? But before we dive into this mind-blowing project, here's something to think about. There are billions of Earth-like planets in our galaxy alone. And this telescope, it's going to look at the 25 most promising ones. What makes these 25 planets so special? And what might we find when we look at them? For decades, telescopes like Hubble have transformed our understanding of the universe. The James Webb has shown us the most distant galaxies ever seen. And soon, the Roman Space Telescope will map the cosmos like never before. But the Habitable Worlds Observatory, this is something different entirely. Imagine a telescope with a mirror as large as Webb's, about six meters across. But instead of looking at the infrared universe, it's specifically engineered to stare directly at planets around other stars and look for signs of life. Now, I know what you're thinking. When is this happening? The telescope won't launch until the early 2040s, but here's why that date is actually incredibly exciting. Because right now, in laboratories across the world, scientists are developing technologies that seem like science fiction. Technologies that will allow us to block out the light of distant stars with unprecedented precision, detect chemical signatures of life from trillions of miles away, and maintain stability at the atomic scale. Think about that last part for a second. This telescope will be so stable that it can't move by even the width of a single atom while making its observations. But finding life across the cosmos isn't as simple as just pointing a telescope at a planet. We need to know exactly what to look for. Here's where it gets fascinating. Life, at least as we know it, leaves very specific fingerprints, like oxygen and methane. And when you find both of these together, that's when things get really interesting. You see on Earth, these gases shouldn't exist together for long. Methane breaks down quickly in the presence of oxygen. The only reason we have both, life keeps replenishing them. So how will the Habitable Worlds Observatory detect these signatures? When light passes through a planet's atmosphere, different molecules absorb different colors of light. It's like each molecule has its own unique barcode. But here's the real challenge. Imagine trying to read that barcode on a penny that's being held up in front of a spotlight in Los Angeles while you're in New York. That's why this telescope needs to be so incredibly precise. Out of the billions of stars in our galaxy, scientists have already identified the most promising targets. Stars similar to our sun, with planets that could potentially support life. These planets need to be in just the right spot. Not too hot, not too cold. Just perfect for liquid water to exist on their surface. Remember that firefly next to a spotlight? Well, this is where the magic happens, with something called a coronagraph. Now, coronagraphs aren't new. Astronomers have been using them for decades to study the sun's corona. The coronagraph that will fly on the upcoming Roman Space Telescope can already make adjustments smaller than the width of a DNA strand. But for the HWO, we need something even more precise. We're talking about maintaining stability at the scale of picometers, movements smaller than the width of an atom. Instead of simply blocking starlight with a disk, this coronagraph uses a complex series of mirrors and masks that can separate a planet's faint light from its blazing star. But the revolutionary technology doesn't stop there. The Habitable Worlds Observatory is being designed with something that's never been done before, a fully robotic servicing system that's like something out of science fiction. Imagine, if you will, a high-tech armoire in space. Behind the telescope's primary mirror, there's a special truss structure where all the scientific instruments live in their own compartments, 
like drawers waiting to be accessed. Here's where it gets fascinating. When an instrument needs to be replaced or upgraded, a servicing vehicle will dock beneath the observatory, carrying the new instrument. Then robotic arms will open the compartment doors, slide out the old instrument along guide rails, carefully maneuver the new instrument into place, and secure everything back in position. But here's the really clever part. This isn't just remote control. These robots have built-in verification systems to prevent any accidental contact with sensitive parts, like solar arrays and radiators. This means the Habitable Worlds Observatory isn't just a static telescope. It's an evolving platform that can be upgraded with new technology throughout its lifetime, keeping it at the cutting edge of our search for life in the universe. While hunting for alien life might grab all the headlines, the Habitable Worlds Observatory has a few more tricks up its sleeve. Let's start closer to home. Right here in our own cosmic backyard, there are worlds that have captivated scientists for decades. Take Jupiter's moon Europa, a world with an ice-covered ocean that might contain twice as much water as all of Earth's oceans combined. Or Neptune's mysterious moon Triton, where seasonal changes could tell us about processes happening beneath its frozen surface. The Habitable Worlds Observatory will study these worlds with unprecedented detail, helping us understand how ocean worlds evolve and whether they might harbor their own forms of life. But that's just the beginning. This telescope will also help us solve some of the biggest mysteries in astronomy. Want to know how galaxies are born? How they grow? How they change over billions of years? With its powerful ultraviolet vision and incredible stability, the HWO will trace the evolution of galaxies from their earliest moments to today. It will even help us understand where the elements that make up everything, including you and me, came from in the early universe. So while we're searching for signs of life out there, we'll also be uncovering the story of how we got here. Now you might be wondering, if this telescope is so amazing, why do we have to wait until the 2040s to launch it? Well, some of the technology we need doesn't exactly exist yet. Remember that coronagraph that needs to be thousands of times more precise than anything we've ever built? Scientists are still trying to figure out how to make that work at the atomic scale. And keeping something perfectly still, down to the width of an atom, while it's floating in space a million miles from Earth, that's pushing the boundaries of what's physically possible. But NASA isn't just sitting around waiting. Right now, they're testing prototypes, running simulations, developing new technologies, and learning from current telescopes like Webb and the upcoming Roman Space Telescope. And all of this takes time, expertise, and yes, significant funding. The intelligent robotic servicing system alone is like developing a space mechanic that can think for itself, something that's never been done before at this scale. Then there's the challenge of making sure all these cutting-edge technologies work together perfectly. One tiny misalignment could mean the difference between seeing a potential alien world or seeing nothing at all. But here's the exciting part. We're already making progress. The Roman Space Telescope, launching in 2027, will test many of the technologies we'll need for the HWO. So we're living in a unique moment in human history, the generation that might finally answer that ancient question. And if we do find life out there, that discovery will change everything. Our understanding of our place in the universe, our perspective on life itself, and our vision for humanity's future. If you want to stay updated on the development of this incredible telescope, hit the subscribe button and follow NASA's progress.